You're one of the founders of Antifa. And I remember having you on about four years ago talking about Antifa or Antifa. How do you say it? Is it Antifa or is it Antifa? It means anti-fascist. Well, it's the talk. It's Antifa. Antifa. And I got to and I got to be careful because someone's going to lay the hammer down on me if I don't if I don't correct this. I'm not the founder of Antifa. Antifa was founded 70 years ago when it was going after Mussolini. I'm the oh. founder of a group called One People's Project. <laughs> Which okay. is an anti-fascist organization. <laughs> All right. One People's Project, which is your, your yeah. organization, which is an anti-fa organization. Explain to people what this right. is, because the president and his minion are out there saying that they're the ones coming to the rallies, causing problems. They're a terrorist organization, blah, 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 blah. Daryl Lamont uh, Jenkins, tell us what, what is Antifa. Well, Antifa, well, Antifa. Antifa, is, I'm sorry. Um, what? Damn it, I'm pronouncing well, it like the president. Well, See how he does it? it, it See it, how it he gets in you? you? So I understand. Oh, my goodness. I understand. <laughs> but the real about it is Antifa is, um, is short for anti-fascist. That's why we always get crazy whenever we, um, when people say anti-fascist, anti Antifa, because it's, um, because it's anti-fascist, anti-fa, Antifa. Um, and basically, it's in the name. Uh, if you are against um, fascism, uh, you are Antifa. You are anti-fascist. And basically that just simply means you are against the hate politics that um, keep on entering our society and trying to do us harm. So, um, And we're out there being as aggressive as we can. I'm not going to lie about that. Um, to try to see the end of this nonsense that we've been dealing with. It doesn't mean we're going to be reckless. And I think what we see um, coming from your more conservative outlets out there and what you see coming from uh, Donald Trump in, in recent weeks is just them trying to engage in some sort of propaganda to make us go away. Um, I keep making the point that what they're saying about Antifa now they also, they also say about Black Lives Matter. They also say about Occupy. They also say about the anti-war movement. And they also say it about Muslims. Basically, they, don't, they are trying to eliminate those that do not believe as they do. Because um, we're not helping them make America great again, you know. So um, our mission is to ignore all that. Because right now, really, what he is doing and what um, other people like Tom Cotton is doing is – Seriously, just an annoyance at this point. It's no, just, it's, um, it's, it's bigger than that, though, Daryl. Let me just stop you. Uh, it's actually dangerous because it, he's, dangerous. He's, he's using that it as is. a reason to bring the military force out. And a lot of people, unfortunately, uh, can get hurt. A lot of people have been getting hurt with those rubber bullets and the tear gas who have been peacefully protesting. And he's trying to weaponize, mm -hmm. weaponize his hate using the military to be the, you know, the military arm of that. So I, I, it's not just an annoyance. No, well, well, in in regards to the propaganda routine coming, not just from him, but from other um other areas like Fox News and all that, they're building up this propaganda mill against us. And it's always the case of we have to just run defense. We've been playing this game for four years. But let me tell you something. There's another factor coming in when it comes to uh, Donald Trump pulling that stunt. He's listening to his base. And there's a whole bunch of people, as we have seen with the reopen rallies just a month ago, with those gun-toting knuckleheads screaming for a civil war, screaming for the tree of liberty to be watered with the blood of um, patriots and tyrants and all that nonsense. He's giving them what they want. And that's something that says to us that we have to do something now. We can't wait till November, really. We really cannot wait till November because a lot of us might not be here if he's pulling those kinds of stunts by November. I think um, when I saw what happened with uh in Lafayette Park where he basically just used the military to clear out the um clear out protesters, peaceful protesters. No one was engaging in anything nefarious. Just so he can have a photo op. We shouldn't even we should be doing more, much more than just giving him harsh language. To be real. That's all I've heard in response. And the truth of the matter is he broke the law that day. He broke the law egregiously that day. That was the that was the definition of a violation of uh, First Amendment rights, and he needs to be held accountable for it. What does that look like, Daryl Lamont Jenkins? Yeah. Is that an, another impeachment hearing? Is that it could be? 
It could be. And, 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 and I know people will say that they're weary of impeachment and all that, but the truth of the matter is he did do something that was an impeachable offense. Somebody could have died that day. Yeah, right, right. Somebody could probably die the next time he pulls that stunt. And we all know how we all have the mechanisms to make sure that this doesn't um, happen again. At the very least, at the very least, there should be a class action lawsuit against the um, against the government that be filed by those that were attacked that day. There yeah. are things that we can do, and there are things that we should do. We cannot just keep on um, writing articles and going on Twitter just complaining about the guy until yeah. November. I agree. So look, and, but and I'm not. I'm not a civics expert, but like we, we're witnessing abuses of power. What are what are grounds for just removal from, from office? Is there something in there that that classifies, you know, could could, could where we could have that happen? It's got to be something. Well, I know. Well, I know people always talk about the Twenty Fifth Amendment, but I think in all in to be honest about it, I think it's all going to depend on the will of the people. If Barack Obama did this, if Obama did this. The Republicans would have had article impeachments, impeachment um, out there yesterday with Democrats signing on. So there is no excuse why we can't do something now. It all depends on what we want to do. And waiting for and waiting for an election to happen is not going to be the option. I mean, it should not be the option. It right. probably, sadly, it might be, but. We are hurting ourselves if we allow that to be the case, to be honest. So your your organization is an anti-fascist organization, but it is not Antifa in name, correct? No, yes, it definitely is. It, it definitely is Antifa. Definitely is Antifa. Um, our main our main email address is Antifa at one people's project dot com. You know? So you so so <laughs> earlier, we're, we're not hiding anything. No, no, no. But the um, reason why I, I ask is. Because in the beginning you said you're being very aggressive out there, so you've been painted as a terrorist. Oh, no, 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 no. I, I just wanted to correct the record because Antifa is, a, Antifa is an ideology. Antifa is a belief right. system. Um, One People's Project, my organization, is the Antifa organization. Um, that's what, a, I, that's what a, I'm asking. Um, so, something that's so, so, to that ideal. So this is what I'm asking. So in the beginning you said you're being very aggressive out there. So since Antifa, the organization. Oh, okay has been branded as a terrorist organization, how do you separate yourself on the streets with the property damage and, and the violence? How do you separate yourself? Well, my attitude about all of that is that a lot of that is coming from, and frankly, I do not, I discount that whole terrorist organization thing. I think there's people that have been doing far more damage than Antifa has ever done uh, okay. on the right. Um, but number two, when it comes to um, property damage and all that, in many respects, when we see it, I mean, when we see it, what we see are it starts off with class. I mean, the real ones are coming from clashes between the police and community people. Antifa is just basically being used as a scapegoat and all of it. Um, when you see Antifa out there in this in this climate, what's going on right now? Um, Anti-fascists more or less are supporting what's going down. We're going to be there. We're going to be out there because if you're, if you're fighting government, putting the boot on people's, um, uh, putting the boot on people's neck, that's kind of like in our wheelhouse. So we're, we're going to be there. We're going to be out there. It doesn't necessarily mean we're going to be reckless. I don't think anybody um, should be reckless. Um, when we see things blowing up in, um, in, in cities all over the place, we have to figure out how did it all begin. Um, we do have white supremacists out there that have been trying to spark things up in the name of starting the civil war. Um, we have um, some folks out there that are kids that think that this is just their time to play and folks stop them. And then you have the folks who have that righteous anger that is definitely angry about what is going on. And they're just taking it to the streets. Um, I do not want to discount that, but the fact of the matter is when you hear people trying to accuse Antifa as leading the riotous charge, that's that's a cop-out. That's, that's propaganda, and it's really just trying to avoid what the real problem is out there, which is the fact that not just George Floyd, but Breonna Taylor, Ahmed Arbery, Trayvon Martin, uh, Eric Gardner, Mike Brown, I'm going as far back as Philip Pinnell. <laughs> 
are all about, gone because yeah. we have allowed this to happen. Yeah, and uh, we uh, cannot uh, allow it anymore. Patrick Dorsman, uh, 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 Sean Bell. You know, Sean I mean, Bell, we, we can go all the way Michael back. Griffith, yeah, like Eleanor let's, Bumpy. yeah, uh, Oscar Grant. I mean, we could be here all day. Is the point? Uh, we're talking with uh, yeah, Daryl Lamont. Daryl Lamont Jenkins is here. Um, he is the leader of the One People Pro- One People's Project, which is an uh, anti anti fa movement. Uh, and and you know, a- as as we start to move forward, right? You said something that we may not be here in November. What did you mean by that? I think that things are getting hot. I think that things are getting hot and they're going to stay hot. And I I don't mean to be hyperbolic, and it does sound hyperbolic. It that's not my intent. Um, I think that things have gotten so hot that they're just – we can run the risk of a loss, more loss of life in the next couple of, uh, next couple of months if, um, if things continue on as they do. We've already seen more loss of life within um, flare-ups and the unrest that's been going on over the past couple of weeks. Um, and uh, it, it needs – I hope that it does come to um, an end so that we don't have to worry about that, but the anger is still going to be there. So if the loss of, and, and the concern and the problem is still going to be there. So even if things did calm down, even if things did go back to normal, so to speak, there's still going to be another brother and sister out there that's going to be killed by a cop that will get away with it. And uh, say, here we go again. I don't think that any and um, Trump or any of his sycophants care about that. They only want to see that happen in mass. Well, what and, if it doesn't? What if it doesn't happen? And what if this is the movement that my my ancestors, my 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 people, and your people have been looking for? What if this does turn the corner? What if it wakes people up? You know, what does success look like for you, Daryl Lamont Jenkins? What does it look like? If that happens, that means we have done what we were supposed to be doing all along. <laughs> The truth be told, we and finally you, pack started up, you, putting the pedal to the metal. We finally started saying, okay, we're going to stop all of this once and for all. We, Like I said before, we do have the mechanisms in place. All we got to do is just turn up the machine. Machine, It can happen. So it's just a matter of as long um, that would show that we have the will. That would show that we really want this to happen. I think one of the reasons why it would happen now as opposed to um, when 30 years happened, 30 years ago when it was um, commonplace, uh, I think it's because we are in better positions as black people, as people of color, um, professionally, um, educationally, financially. Um, we've gone from brothers and sisters getting killed in the streets, and that happens, um, to us being killed in our homes while we're playing video games. When or in bed with our or in bed with our death. boyfriends. Yeah. Or in bed with our boyfriends. Yeah. yeah. And and the thing about it is now you kill and now they they always used to I remember back in the nineties they used to say, Well why don't why don't you guys just work for what you want and you will never have to worry about getting shot by the police. Well, we did that. Now brothers and sisters that are being killed out there don't have criminal records. Or have a very small one. So it's not that. And when you hear um, folks on the other side try to make excuses for deaths, for the killings, by bringing up crime stats that don't have anything to do with Sandra Bland, then then you know that you're, you're dealing with people who really just have another agenda besides law and order. All right. And so... that's what we're going to fight. Where can people reach out? Where can people uh, follow you and uh, connect with what you're doing? Well, I'm on Twitter and on Instagram under the name D Lamont, at D Lamont Jenkins. Um, One People's Project is onepeoplesproject.com. Uh, I also have idavox.com, which is our news line. As you know, it's named after Ida B. Wells. Um, and you can catch up to a lot of things that um, are going on. And if you have events, um, you can always submit an event on that website. And um, and we'll make sure that um, if, if it works within the parameters of One People's Project, we'll post it so people will know all over the world what we're doing. So, but that's the best way to reach us. And, of course, as I said before, our, our email address is antifa at onepeoplesproject.com. 
let me let me thank you. You were in them streets in Charlottesville when uh, Heather Heyer was killed, was murdered in, in cold blood by vicious, horrible people, and violence broke out. You were there then. You're there now. You're always there. You've been showing up since the very beginning, and I appreciate you being here today to talk about this. Come back anytime, Daryl Lamont Jenkins. No doubt. Take care. All right. One People's Project. <laughs>